to this video on using Visual Schedule Builder for course planning and registration. We want to start inside Flashline on the student dashboard. You can click dashboard under this menu or you can simply click on the graduation cap to pull up the student dashboard. Once your student dashboard loads, click Visual Schedule Builder. This tool will help you find the schedule that is right for you. The first thing you will do is click your term and then select your campus. Now your advisor may have already set up a favorite for you as they're helping you work through your schedule. You can click on these arrows and then click on the schedule that's here. Do not click on the black X as it will erase it. Once you've clicked on it, you simply press load and it will show you what your advisor has selected. If you want to see if there are other times, get rid of these red pins and then you can click through all of the options that we have. When using the Schedule Builder, it's very important to unclick the waitlistable classes and full classes so that you can see what is currently available. Now, this schedule has business and economics still currently on it, but perhaps you also need an English course. So let's put in English. You can simply type in the course number. You can also type in a title or course instructor. Another great feature if you know that you need a Kent Core class is you can search by that particular Kent Core. So we're going to try to find Kent Core Fine Arts. It's going to pull up any class that's a Kent Core Fine Art as an option. So this is going to let you see that you can see the architecture options. If you want to see other ones, you click here where it's white and see the other courses that were also part of the Kent Core that you might want to see the times for. Now you can see we've got 60 options for your classes, but as you look through this, you can see which ones work best for you. Perhaps you don't want theater at 755, so that it stops moving that, you can pin it down. And you'll see all of the choices that you have as you scroll through. Another feature is you can prevent it from showing you times when you know you have a work obligation. And this will lower the number of class options that you see. When a class disappears, that's because it's being offered in an online environment and doesn't have class times that will show up. Once you have the option that you want for each of your classes, you can hit send CRNs to my worksheet. This will load the typical acknowledgement pages, which hopefully you've read at some point. It may ask you to re-enter your password after you hit this final acknowledgement page. Let's wait for my internet to catch up with us. This takes you to your normal add drop screen and the worksheet will show the CRNs of the classes you've selected. And then all you do is hit submit changes and check to see what information went through and if there are any course issues. I hope you found this video helpful. Please be sure to contact your advisor if you have any additional questions. If you know your advisor's email, email them directly. Schedule an appointment through KSU Advising 